guys, it's Lady Maylene and today I'm going to show you how I did this look for Yunokasai from Mirai Nikki and I will be featuring these Skin Denavia, I believe that's how you say, products that I was sent that these are supposed to make your makeup last forever and what is better than having your makeup last for like hours and hours, especially when you're at a convention and you want your makeup to last like forever. I'm going to test these out for you and I'm going to wear them with this makeup and come back in a little bit let you know how <coughs> long they last if they're good because this is exactly what I need for my makeup I keep retouching my makeup over and over and over and over again when I go to conventions so if these works these are gonna be like my holy grail products and I'm going to use them for every time I do my makeup look so if you want to see how I did this you know makeup look and how this product works please keep watching <clears throat> all right guys so just ignore my disgusting makeupless face and my wig cap hair and just pretend it's not there but we are going to start with the primer you are supposed to put this on about two or four times and it's supposed to leave your face like perfect for foundation and like smooth so also shake it let's do this guys I'm kind of afraid to spray this but let's go that actually feels really nice and it says it's supposed to help with breakouts which is awesome because I get breakouts all the time <laughs> alright now that it is dry let's start putting some makeup on because I look hideous anyways guys when doing cosplay makeup I definitely definitely recommend a very good coverage makeup because like I was saying I definitely recommend a very good coverage makeup because you want to look perfect like cosplay not cosplay like anime characters look perfect um, I definitely I definitely recommend the Kat Von D foundation. This thing is amazing. Like it leaves your skin looking almost perfect, which is like exactly what you want for an anime character because they're like perfect. Why do they ever have pimples? That's not fair. And I hope this lighting is good. I actually got this new uh, light that hooks on to my new camera, which is really, really, really bright, but I'm not sure if it's coming out right in the camera, but here we go, we're almost done. And I'm actually gonna put a little bit more because I do want it to last all day and I want it to look like super duper perfect. <laughs> I usually always put a lot more makeup on when I'm doing cosplay than like normal. And if you want to use a concealer, go ahead and use it before or after. I usually use it after and I am using a MAC, whoa, where'd it go? Okay, a MAC concealer. I am using this MAC concealer because it covers pretty darn nice and like I said, flawless skin. And then we're going to set it. You can use any kind of setting powder or just powder that you want. So right now I'm a really good powder, but I definitely, rec I'm just using this, but I definitely recommend using like a good, really good powder, like Kat Von D's or MAC um, powder, because especially if it's like a foundation powder, because this is going to make you look even better. But I'm just going to put like this. If you want to use just any random setting powder, that is perfectly fine. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Now I'm going to start in the eyes, which is pretty much the big part of uh, cosplay makeup because the, I think they're pretty much the most important part of a cosplay makeup. So I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. Okay, hopefully this is good. I like this camera. It actually focuses. Anyway, we're going to start on eyes like I said. Alright, so the most important part of your eye makeup is going to be the primer. It's backwards. Anyways, eye primer goes, please. Especially if you're gonna do cosplay makeup, I recommend an eye primer. If you don't want to spend like what, like 20 bucks for this one, but it's it's amazing. I swear it's amazing. You can get one by Elf. That's perfectly fine. But use primer. It'll make such a huge difference. I promise. Beep, 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 beep. All right, now that we have primer, let's get started. Alright, for Yuno's look, I really wanted to do like a dark smoky eye because uh, I usually do like color of the eye to match the color of my, the hair like of my anime character but I think she has like a dark look um, so I wanted to do like a smoky eye and let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is use this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. It's the white one. I'm sure you all heard of this. It's popular. I use this all the time on makeup looks and I am going to use some of this stuff and put it all over my eyelid. It makes the eyeshadows pop. It makes them brighter. I just, I love this thing. Hopefully I'm doing this good because I have a tiny itty bitty mirror that I can't really see out of, but I'm trying this. Alright, well I think that's good and now we're going to put white eyeshadow, whatever white eyeshadow you want. It's going to make the white just look brighter and more vibrant and more white. Alright, so we are just gonna put some of the white eyeshadow. I can't see what I'm doing, okay. 
And I'm gonna put some in the inner corner because that just makes your eyes look brighter and like bigger. Of course, anime characters have like ginormous eyes, so that's a good thing. And now here's my secret to eyeshadows. Ta-da! Tape! So I always use this tape method when I'm doing like color on the side of my eyes. Here, let me show you guys what it is. So I got two pieces of tape and I'm gonna put them on my hand and then like take them off because I don't want them to be super duper 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 sticky and hurt my eyes. Now what I'm gonna do is put them, put them like this going wherever like straight and then you just do your eyeshadow and it'll stop right there and when you take it off it'll be all smooth and nice. Before I do the black, I'm actually going to use this red right here and I'm going to put a tiny itty bitty bit like on the, the outer of the lid. I'm bad at names. So I need a mirror. Hopefully you can see this guys. And since you have the tape, it's just gonna stop it right there, so you'll always have it neat, nice. Now you get a fluffy blendy brush and you blend and blend blend. This part doesn't have to be amazing because I'm gonna add something on top and then blend again. And if it looks like you took too much of the white out, I'm just gonna add a little bit more because I think I did. Now I'm gonna get a big old blendy beautiful brush and I'm gonna go in with that black. Here we go guys, here we go. When you're using black, don't forget to use a little tiny itsy bitsy bit because you can't really take off but you can add some more and black is kind of harsh. So I always just tap it a little tiny bit and then just build it up. So here's what I'm gonna do. Just go straight because you're gonna have that line. Tap. If it looks like you have a little too much, I just tap it on my hand or on whatever I'm wearing since it's probably black. Now we're gonna go to the crease. Crease. And now I'm going to go and put some more, like a little bit in and then come out. I hope that makes sense. At least I hope you can see it. I know this camera is way better than my old camera, so hopefully you can actually see. Since I can't explain very well. <laughs> and now we're gonna do it on this side, the exact same thing. Now I'm going to remove the tape. Hopefully it's not too sticky because it's not good for your eyes. Okay, here we go. Yes, you see it leaves that line and I use this line to do my eyeliner. So I just put my eyeliner like right on top of that line so you won't be able to see it. Okay, now that we have this, I am going to use a like skin color, which I'm gonna use this one. Can you just see this? This color. I'm going to put it on a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend, blend, blend. I usually do like circular motions. Circular. This is really hard because I'm just looking at the camera and I can't see what I'm doing very well, but I hope this is okay. If you see any like harsh edges or something, just blend, 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 blend. I made a new song. And also, since it is going to be a cosplay, I'm just going to add a little bit more black to make it a little bit darker. Usually, I'd probably stop here, but since cosplay, you have to have, like, dramatic... I mean, you don't have to, but I like, like, dramatic looks and, like, darker looks. Especially if you're going to take pictures, it doesn't really show in pictures unless it's, like, bang! So, yeah. Okay, so I think this is pretty good, except for this part. I know, guys, this is weird. 
So here we got the uh, with the eyeliner. I use the Kat Von D eyeliner because it stays on forever. It's so easy to apply, and I definitely recommend something that'll stay for a long time because um, you kind of want it to stay all day. And I don't know how I'm gonna do this because um, I really have a hard time. Let me see. Doing eyeliner when I'm not like right next to the mirror. So sorry if you can't see this very well. Let me try. Now I usually do thicker eyeliner for cosplay, especially since I'm gonna wear lashes. And they kind of cover a lot. And like I said, this line, that's usually where I draw my eyeliner, but I'm going to extend it a little bit. And go downward. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my god, it's a good job. Give me a second, guys. This is actually really hard to do. I didn't realize I was going to have a hard time doing my eyeliner. Alright guys, so it's not like super duper perfect because I have to be like this close to the mirror when I'm doing my eyeliner. <laughs> so sort of what I do is just like go here and then put it like underneath. I really like that look when it has like this line underneath, especially if you put fake lashes like right there. I think it looks really cute. So I'm going to try to do the other one now. Alright guys, so I'm back. I didn't realize it was going to be really hard for me to do my eyeliner with this tiny mirror I have over here. So I, you can kind of see how I do it. I mean, you can do your eyeliner any way you want, but I really like like the low um, line and like going up. I think it looks cute, so yeah. I'm going to use this uh, brush, which is an angled brush, which is usually for eyebrows. And I'm going to use some black and try to blend out this part down here, or right, like a little bit. Oh my god, it was in this recording this whole time. <sighs> Like I was saying, I really like to use white pencil in your waterline because it makes a huge difference. It really does. It makes your eyes brighter, just like the inner corner, like white when you put on there. It makes your eyes look brighter. It makes them bigger. It definitely does make them bigger. So I definitely recommend putting some on, which I already did and it didn't record. I'm so sad. But anyways, before I go with the um, mascara and lashes, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Um, if you guys want to do like the color of your hair, I know there's some tutorials. But every time I try to do it, it just comes out horrible. So I'm just going to do regular um, eyebrow colors. So I just did them super, super quickly and really bad. I have like an eyebrow problem because my eyebrows are insane. So they never come out good, but it's okay. I now I'm going to quickly do like blush and contour before I do the eyelashes. I always do that last. So I'm just going to do use this palette to contour. Blah, 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 blah. I always think I do it really weird and it just looks strange, but... I try guys, I try. So if you want to contour your nose, then look up some tutorials because every time I do it, it just makes it look bigger. So <laughs> now we're gonna do some blush. Every time I do cosplay characters, I use maybe a little too much blush, but I think it looks really cute. And then like pictures, you kind of have to have a lot for it to really show up. And I like putting it like here. I don't know, I think it looks more cartoony when you put it on there. And hopefully it's not too, too, too much. I'm gonna do lips and then I'm gonna do lashes. I actually ha hate putting on fake lashes, so I always do that like way last. For you know, I really wanted to do like a pink colored um, lip, and I found this one, which is kind of like a pink and red mix, and which is awesome because I didn't know if I should do pink or red because I think they both fit her fit her very well. And this is kind of like a mixture of both, but it's a little bit like a dark yet like bright. It's it's cool. I like this. I love this color. So quick tip guys, when I do cosplay, I always, 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 always use a liquid lipstick, not a regular lipstick or gloss, because when I put like gloss on, I have to reapply it like every 10 minutes, especially if you're taking pictures, and some pictures you have like lip lipstick on, some you don't, but liquid lipstick lasts so much longer, I always use liquid lipstick for cosplay, and it, it lasts a lot, so this is the liquid lipstick. I am not going to put on my lashes, but lashes... To me, and I really believe that they are a huge part of costly makeup, they honestly and seriously make a huge difference. I will show you a picture of when I cosplayed Yuno know, and the lashes just make a big difference. I'm just going to put mascara on for right now, but lashes make a huge difference. I think it's perfect for cosplay. It does give you that anime-like eyes and stuff. And for my bottom lashes, I usually don't wear too many bottom lashes, but I think if you wear both top and bottom, they look amazing, even though I find them very uncomfortable, so I usually don't do it. But it looks so good, seriously. 
Like, I'll show you a picture of one of my cosplays that I did both top and bottom lashes, and I think it looks really great. So here is just a mascara on. So I didn't glue this lash on, but you can see what a huge difference it makes. So, like I said, I definitely recommend lashes for cosplay makeup. And what is a you know makeup tutorial without some fake blood? So I'm just gonna use this random one I got during Halloween. This thing stains, but it looks good, so I really like that. I'm just gonna use a paintbrush. You can literally add as much or as little as you want. It does not matter. I'm just gonna do like a little bit. Not, not, I'm not very good at this because I don't know how to make it look like real blood, but I tried. So I kind of fail at this, <laughs> but it's okay if you want to add it to your arms, your neck. I think it'll look really cool. Alright guys, now that this makeup look is actually done, I'm going to go ahead and use the Scandinavia Makeup Finish Spray. This is what you spray on after you finish your makeup. So it says it's supposed to help any makeup with creasing, fading, and melting, which is amazing because that's exactly what I need here in Vegas. It gets super, super, super hot. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try this. It says it's supposed to last 16 hours, which is amazing. Let's put some on. That actually feels so good. I think this would be perfect for like really hot days when you don't want to mess up your makeup, but you want to spray something on your face because it's so hot. It feels so fresh. Alright guys, so now that it's dry, I'm gonna go and wear this makeup look for a couple of hours and I'll be back and I'll tell you guys how, I'll show you guys my makeup and see if these products actually make them last. I'm not gonna wear it for 16 hours because it's a long time, but we'll see if these things actually work. I am crossing my fingers that they do because I definitely need this for my cosplay makeup, especially like um, photo shoots, especially if we do them outside and my makeup is melting off, that is horrible. So cross your fingers for me and I will be back. Now let's put on that wig. Oh my god, this is all over the place. Alright, so my wig actually got a little tiny bit messed up, but here is the finished look! Hey guys, I am back and it's been about five hours. I wish I could uh, stay a little bit more with this makeup on, but it's getting really late and I gotta go to sleep soon. So this is about five hours, which I think is a pretty good amount of time to have like reapplying makeup. I uh, filmed another video in a very, very hot light since I use many, many lights for my videos. So that's kind of testing out the melting makeup because when I do my videos and have all those lights, my makeup just tend to like sweat and melt off. <laughs> And I, and I have to reapply it. I have not reapplied it whatsoever. I did take off the blood a little bit because I was going to do the, um, a different video and I didn't want that in that video. But honestly, it pretty much looks exactly the same, which is awesome, especially the lips. This is actually a pretty good lipstick, but I've been drinking a lot, like a lot out of a straw and usually when I do that you can see like here and you can't really see it which is really awesome I'm like really excited here is a close-up of the makeup and seriously it looks the same I'm so excited I'm totally gonna start using this for like always forever so I absolutely definitely recommend this product this is so cool I am definitely impressed with this product and this has been a success yay so if you guys want this awesome product I actually do have 50% off plus free shipping plus you'll get two uh, travel size uh, sprays for free which is amazing and I'll have the link down below so thank you guys so much for watching I'm so glad this was actually a success I will see you guys in my next video and if you want to follow me on Facebook Instagram or whatever please don't forget to do so and bye guys